The Wall Street Journal has published a very interesting story taking us behind that Hertz Tesla purchase. The company, the website says the rental car company has a secret business weapon. Taxpayers, welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a uh, uh, thumbs up if you like this report. So Wall Street Journal says the more you look behind corporate and government press releases these days, the more you learn about their mutual benefits benefit society. So let's see what's the mutual benefit here. We wrote Tuesday about the many subsidies for Tesla's electric cars, but it turns out there is also a pot of subsidy gold behind the Hertz decision to buy 100,000 Teslas for its car rental fleet. Tesla CEO Elon Musk says he isn't giving Hertz a discount on the reported $4.2 billion order, but he doesn't need to because that doesn't need to because he, the house reconciliation spending bill includes a 30% tax credit for qualified commercial electric vehicles. The text doesn't clearly define what is a quote-unquote qualified commercial electric uh, vehicle. But our sources, Wall Street sources, say Hertz's Teslas would likely make the cut. The credit could save Hertz $1.26 billion and make a Tesla almost as cheap for Hertz to buy as a Toyota Camry. Hertz plans to install thousands of electric vehicles, uh, vehicle chargers, which could also be eligible for taxpayer subsidies. The house spending bill extends a 30% tax credit for the installation of electric uh, electric vehicle charging stations through 2031 which is on top of the 7.5 billion dollar appropriation for stations in the separate senate um, uh, in the separate senate infrastructure bill hertz interim ceo mark fields is casting the company's tesla order as a strategic business decision and evidence that electric vehicles are going mainstream maybe and there is no no doubt that Tesla order is winning progressive according prog uh, uh, accolades for the rental car company. Electric vehicles are also less expensive to maintain than gas-powered cars, so they could reduce Hertz's operating costs, says Wall Street, and says, but if electric vehicles make business sense, why must the government subsidize them, asks Wall Street Journal. Friends, what would you rep respond to that? Um, Wall Street Journal is asking if electric vehicles make uh, business sense why must the government subsidize them well i think maybe to push them to help the transition because a lot of people still um, have doubts about it so wall street journal says the democrats complain that corporations aren't paying their fair share in taxes but then they give them generous tax breaks for promoting progressive policies that reduce their tax payments um, so uh, wall street journal concludes saying enjoy that hurts tesla right you'll have paid more for for it than the rental contract says. Well, what do you think about this, friends? Let me know your thoughts about this. I will have the link of Wall Street Journal in the description of this video. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. Subscribe to our channel for Tesla breaking news, taking you behind the press releases, and give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. And let's move to the next Tesla development. Another breaking development just an hour ago. Hertz says it will provide 50,000 Tesla cars to Uber drivers by 2023. This is what Hertz says. Next time you order an Uber, it might be one of our Tesla electric vehicles. We are excited to provide up to 50,000 electric vehicles to Uber drivers by 2023. Just an hour ago, tweeted Hertz with the hashtag Let's Go. This is going to be a very interesting combination, friends. Uh, Hertz is moving very fast. And in fact, Tesla Model 3 rental rates already are appearing on reservation website of Hertz. This Hertz Tesla Uber combination results in the following situation. Hertz has electric option and Uber has green option. As a result, Tesla sells more vehicles. On Monday, Hertz announced it plans to convert its fleet of rental vehicles to electric and has placed an initial order for 100,000 Tesla Model 3s. The company said the cars 
Airliners will be added to their fleet by the end of 2022, with the first Model 3s arriving as early as next month. Now, look at that thing that it said, initial order of 10, 100,000 Tesla Model 3s. This is telling me that there may be more orders because Hertz says 500,000 cars and it wants to move them everything to electrification because a lot of people prefer electric vehicles and I will not be surprised if Hertz adds more vehicles. Now this morning Hertz uh, is again surprising us with an announcement that it will provide up to 50,000 electric vehicles to Uber drivers by 2023. I don't know if these 50,000 Teslas are in addition to the 100,000 Tesla uh, that Hertz announced buying from Elon Musk's company, or these are among those 100,000, so I don't know, uh, probably among them, but if so, then Hertz won't have enough vehicles to speedily electrify its uh, 500,000 car rental fleet. But who knows, if all goes well, I won't be surprised if Hertz may one day announce a new huge order from Tesla or another electric vehicle provider, let's say Volkswagen or another one. People comment on their Hertz's new announcement this morning providing 50,000 uh, electric Teslas to Uber drivers by 2023 and say you should order 200,000 Model Y vehicles immediately. All these customers experiencing those Teslas in Hertz will scoop up all the supply. They would like to have more. Others suggest, others people uh, suggest uh, Hertz to to make it an option where drivers can request a Tesla, not just a random car when selecting a car. One person comments saying, if even if we have to wait longer, I want to ride in a Tesla and nothing else. Hertz is getting ahead for the disruption, friends. Hertz is now kind of two steps ahead of competition. Now, this is how a company is totally reborn, considering Hertz just recently came out of bankruptcy. Congratulations and good job, guys. Wishing you the best. Well, friends, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please like this video if you found the information interesting. And let's move on to the next story on Tesla. Elon Musk just minutes ago tweeted and talked about the Tesla Hertz deals, pricing how much Hertz has paid for Tesla. Wow, what a week to start the week. There was plenty of news this morning about Panasonic making the first 4680 batteries and showing off and then Hertz announcing the Tesla deal news. Tesla gets an order of 100,000 cars from Hertz. Huge move and super smart. Rentals in huge demand and going green. The rent fleets need replenishment and then Elon Musk just minutes ago literally tweeted about um, the the pricing because during the day a lot of people were wondering if Hertz got a discount because like Kim Puckett say today uh, just tweeted also said Elon certainly be certain business reporters believe this sale to a rental fleet is indication of low demand since car people say so but Elon Musk tweeted today and to one tweet responding saying it is strange that the Hertz news moved the valuation of Tesla as Tesla is very much a production ramp problem not a demand problem thus responding both to the person who tweeted about the amazement of Tesla getting 100,000 orders from rental company uh, and uh, Kim Pakwet a tweeter about Tesla saying Elon certain business people reporting uh, re certain business reporters believe this sale to a rental fleet is an indication of low demand but Elon Musk just tweeted and said to be clear cars sold to Hertz have no discount same price as to consumers again Tesla did not give Hertz a discount but uh, it's the Hertz is paying for 100,000 Tesla vehicles the same price as the consumers pay now this raised more questions uh, Tesla Silicon Valley owners tweeted several questions I think they're great questions and I want to share with um, with you guys one of them is will it come with FSD package that means will, if you rent a car from Hertz will it come for, uh, with full self-driving package we don't know the answer Elon Musk has not responded yet another question did 
Hertz ask for one because we know that each package is ten thousand dollars. Well, Hertz, I guess, can uh, in increase a couple of uh, hundred, uh, couple of dollars per vehicle the price uh, and uh, offer full self driving if your license uh, allows it. I guess because it's a safety issue. So I don't think they will come with full self driving because that will um, raise a lot of liability issues. Another question is how will the rollout work? In which manner Tesla is going to roll out? Another person asked if uh, what is the allocation from Fremont factory versus Giga factory Shanghai. I think those company, those Tesla vehicles that are going to go to Hertz rentals in Europe are likely to come from Giga Shanghai. But those that are going to Hertz uh, uh, rental in United States, they're likely to come from the Fremont factory. You know, Hertz paid the same amount as a regular customer while advertising the Model 3 on its homepage and YouTube channel. This is why Tesla doesn't need to pay for advertising Europe about to see the advertising hertz released three advertisings today some people say pretty soon there will be a one year wait for a tesla uh, that's kind of uh, amazing and even you know too long to wait right uh, hopefully giga berlin and giga factory texas can start pumping new tesla vehicles uh, out 24 hours uh, seven uh, six weeks six days a week to catch up with demand now does anyone know how charging will be handled with rental uh, originating after january 31 or 2021 or how the charging will um, be uh, will be handled with tesla vehicles if you rent a tesla vehicle do you need to return the tesla vehicle to hertz fully charged that means you have to go to a charger supercharger and stay there wait there for a little bit or will it be billed by hertz with the usual service fees and markups this these are the questions and or answers we don't know friends but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and get ready to see the three advertisements if you haven't seen them today by hers this is armin harian from talknews.com let's keep watching